Hi, guys. It's always great to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have your tree up. Well, you know, we it was in the spirit of our giveaways this week. We decided to leave it off. So there you go. <laughs> I get myself framed because I know everyone wants to see how I look. Yeah. <laughs> it's always fun. All these great people joining me. I'm going to wave to some of them. Um, just so you guys know, uh, we are going to be giving away, and today we're giving away one of the, oh, I got to look at it because I want to make sure I say it right. The Beginner's Open Studio Flower Box and Class. We're giving away one of those. For you to redeem whenever you want to. Cal says, well, we can keep it up for a while, whatever it's convenient for you. And um, when you decide to do, when you, if you win and you decide, uh, you have to order like on a Tuesday and then you get it that same week, don't you? That's right. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a little bit about it here. And so, yeah, anyway, but. So this, this box is really good. So let me explain a little bit to, to you guys about okay. what our school is doing. And I know a lot of people, a lot of florists were, were trying to be contactless, um, trying to stay um, uh, as separate as we can, but still work on our craft and, um, and enjoy um, our, our, our experience being at home. Uh, so uh, what we've done is we've kind of put together a program, uh, our Beginners Open Studio program, which is meant for all beginners. It has a lot of really, really tips and we ship out a box of flowers and now it doesn't it doesn't necessarily matter exactly what the flowers are because what we're what we do is show you how to use what's in the box to create a whole bunch of really wonderful things and we use our book as a guide as we always have and so like uh so for example the book goes by uh first purchasing flowers concept of design uh we also do color stories uh, which is really nice. Um, so let's see. Uh, and then let's see. Choosing your colors. So we have a, um, a really nice philosophy that we've put together uh, based on all of our Flower School in New York florists' concepts. And it's really about choosing colors because when you go to go buy flowers, I think one of the biggest mistakes people make is they go and they just buy all the flowers they love but don't have a concept of what color palette they should be going for. And that's why everyone's flower arrangements look like hot mess sometimes. <laughs> They're just, oh my God, enough colors. Blue doesn't go with yellow and red and purple. Too many colors. So we kind of like hone it down. And then, um, so we use a lot of the philosophy from the book and we make flower arrangements. And we make anywhere between two and four flower arrangements, depending on how many we have. Uh, this, we just did one a little while ago, a few minutes ago. So we have this one has some ranunculus and some roses, uh, um, some brunias and some eucalyptus. So this is one of the flower arrangements we made. Uh, we did another hand-tied bouquet uh, over here. Um, so you get an example of what they're like. Uh, we did, uh, we have lilies. We have double lilies we got from Holland. Uh, we have uh, uh, blackberries. Um, raspberries. I don't know why. Lots of different foliages. So it was a little bit of a foliage class, you know. So, and then here you can take a look. There we have our stems. They're perfectly done. Nice. Okay. So you know we make a lot of different designs for the class. So it's a it's a workshop. Um, it's a really really fun class. So I, I hope whoever gets the giveaway enjoys it as much as we enjoy teaching it. Oh, I'm sure they will. I mean, I know over the year. Um, I've enjoyed seeing you unpack several of those boxes and, and uh, you know, every box is different and every box is wonderful. I mean, totally wonderful. I want to answer Marcus's question real quick. Yes, we're going to be saving this and sharing it on the IGTV live. So if you can't, if you can't uh, hang on till the end, we understand. Um, but you've got to make a comment in here for whoever's following us. And we're going to actually draw the name of the winner. So if you haven't been with us all week, we're going to draw the name of the winner from our feed tonight before we hop off. And so I've got um, my wonderful team is in there assigning numbers to everybody. And we randomly pick a number and go from there. So we've got people from uh, Europe, people from Trinidad, Caribbean. Wow, that's awesome. We have so many fun people checking in here. That's awesome. So if you have a question for Cal, type it in there. We'll, you know, we'll get to as many as we can and uh, that will be awesome. So- yeah. I got to ask you a question. 
Oh, me? Okay. Yeah. Did you know that on Wednesday was National Whipped Cream Day? <laughs> you know, how, how did I miss that? I didn't know that. Well, the thing is, I, th I would have thought it was on a Sunday. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. I didn't even see that one coming. I was just, I got sideswiped there. I have kids. You know? And that's, now you're practicing your dad jokes. These are jokes. <laughs> I love that so oh, much. I should probably, if you if you have time, I don't know how long it is, but uh, we are in our new space right now. Yeah. And I would love to give people a sneak peek about the new flat. So for those of you who are just joining us, I'm going to take the mic for a second. I really want you guys to listen. This is really important. Flower School is now moving to a new location on 28th Street, right near the flower market. Uh, we have... 500 square foot floor, which is mostly open, and I'm about to show it to you, plus a 6,500 square foot roof deck. And at the roof deck, we're going to be, uh, we're going to plant the entire thing as a garden with a beautiful canopy and tent. We're going to be doing events. We're going to be doing wine tastings. We're going to be doing classes. We're going to be doing gardening. We have uh, tons of different programs now that we can do because we're out of our smaller space and we are thrilled to be here. We have been, uh, uh, the staff is just working to the bone to try to get the place set up because our classes start here in person on Monday. So we are really, really excited to do that. That is incredible. That is exciting. We've, um, I can't wait to see. So that, we, I've been dying to see this space. Um, I feel like you and I have talked about it a few times, so I can't wait. Um, yeah. We've got people checking in from, Pennsylvania, from New Jersey. Uh, I can't wait to come back to New York City. <laughs> and they're live. Atushi, it's so nice to see you. Um, and I've been watching Atushi's feed for years now. He always just sits in his shop in Japan and just makes incredible bouquet after incredible bouquet. And he's just like, you know, he just talks and he just, they talk about, I don't know what they're talking about. It's in Japanese, but I think they're just talking about music and TV. And, and it's like, it's like a conversation. It is so relaxing. To watch it is wonderful so atushi thank you again for uh for your uh, uh your videos keep them coming we love it yeah absolutely i've joined several of them myself um and it's funny it's like you, you just get hooked you just can't you gotta wait till the end and and mm -hmm. then when he gets done it's like he goes on and does something i mean it's, it's he's really great so that's awesome so um okay great well so you moved into the new space classes start monday um well, Look, what, let, you let me know when you're ready to go take a look. Okay, I will. So let me ask this. So you've got in class, you got in person and online. Um, just for people who maybe can't travel yet, what's anything new and exciting online? Or are you just sticking to the, the standard great things that everybody has been really soaking up? Well, you know, it's really just about flowers uh, as of right now. But we also have a candle making class, a uh, fragrance class. Uh, which we are going to be packaging up into a nice box so you can melt the wax. Uh, we have the right mixture of, and you have to do it like this, but it's a nice mixture of beeswax, soy, and paraffin, and we can put in all of the little bits to make it really fun, plus the essential oils from Enflorage. Enfl Everyone can make two candles. Uh, we can do it online. You can do it as a group. Um, and so that's a, a really fun part of our perfume programs that we have. Uh, we also have our event planning program. Um, you know, we work with the Weddings Library here in New York City, plus uh, a lot of other really great vendors, Ron Ben Israel, people like that. And um, we do that online as well. So that's a lot of fun. Yes, I did say candles. Yay. <laughs> but, we, you know, and so, but really, you know, the, I think that perfecting our flower delivery and flower shipping is uh, what we're really focusing on. And right now, while it's cold weather, tulip season, hellebores, all these things we're starting to get. So people are going to be getting just huge bunches. The boxes of flowers you should have seen just a few minutes ago, the boxes left. And the boxes were, you know, they're the big boxes filled with flowers. Yeah. Yeah, okay. they're a little like internet boxes. These are like real boxes. They're, they're real flower boxes. I mean, they just yeah. don't, there's, Uline doesn't even have a box big enough to put all these in. So it's like, we have to use the flower box. That's awesome. Okay, well, I, I see people are ready for the tour. So let's go ahead and do that. I can't wait. Okay, so uh, what you're seeing now, I'm right here sort of, um, uh, 
the, one of the classrooms here. And I'm going to um, go around quickly. So I think it's more fun if you guys stay really close to me right here and I'm going to walk down the hallway. Okay, so uh, and you have to remember, it's still uh, we're still a little bit in a construction zone. But what I'm going to do here is walk backwards. So this is one of the hallways here. We, we went for seven foot wide hallway. Uh, we have some bathrooms over here. They're all ADA. Uh, and then over here to the right, uh, we have our wet area. So we have um, our sink for washing dishes here. And then we have our slop sinks over here. And so we have an entire area. This is all wet. Okay. And then over here, uh, we have our kitchen prep area because we do have, we're going to have a bar. We're going to be doing wine tasting and uh, cheese tasting, things like that. So that's going to be a lot of fun, but you need a kitchen prep area for that. Plus it's really good for events. Then, yeah, hey, Trish. Yes, yeah, huge. So here's the space right now. Here's classroom A. Uh, this is the flower classroom. Uh, it's our current four tables that we had back on 14th Street. But as you can see, there's room for four more tables. So we can really accommodate very comfortably 24 to 30 people for a program if if that's a thing. Okay, now um, over here to the right, we have our photography studio. So a lot of you guys know, I used to be a photographer. Uh, Jill Greenberg, if you guys know Jill Greenberg, a very famous photographer, she lives in the building and she has her studio in the building and she <laughs> wants to collaborate and do a flower thing. So uh, we're gonna be doing some very exciting flowers. Just Google Jill Greenberg, you have to see it. It's really crazy. She has an entire story that she did on two-year-olds crying. If you have kids, you're gonna love this. You gotta see it. Okay, but anyway, so she's in the building. We're gonna be working together, but we're gonna put our photo studio over here. Now we, we, we rescued a lot of the plants from 14th Street, of course, but then we have our entire photo studio over here. So there's two classrooms, uh, which is, a big deal. Uh, this is where I was just sitting before. This is where we're doing a lot of our recording and stuff. So we have a, a big space there. There's some flower arrangements and stuff. Um, the first thing, this, I, I, those of you who know me, you've probably heard me say this. I've never had a job. I literally have only owned my own business for my entire professional career. And um, this is the first time in my entire career I've ever had my own office. Until I give it to my kids anyway. But anyway, <laughs> here's my office here. And for those of you who know uh, about Flower School lore, these were the original chairs that were at Flower School. I had them refinished and, uh, and, and redone. So those are the original Flower School chairs. So when you would come to Flower School, you would sit down in the chair and we would tell you about the programs. Uh, over here, as you guys know, Jesse, these are our offices. So we have offices for four um, staff members in there currently, which is really nice. And then lastly, we have our cooler is gonna be in this room here, which is not finished. And then in the front, it's a little bit embarrassing because it's still a construction zone. But as you can see, we have a 1500 square foot bar room, okay? And this bar right here is 20 feet wide. It's gonna be covered completely in uh, porcelain stone. So the entire thing is gonna be like marbleized. It's gonna be incredible. And this is where we're gonna do all of our wine tastings. And if you can see here through the window, I don't know if you can see, actually you can see the Freedom Tower right up there. I don't know if you can see that. It's blue on top there with the red blinking light. I don't know if you guys can see that. But anyway, so we have views and I'm not gonna to go to the roof right now because it's, it's too cold, but it's a, a really, really great space. So I'll just- How fun, that is so much fun. Yeah. You've got to be so proud of that and so excited about that. Yeah, it's, um, it's a big move. It's a big move for the school and for the staff. Uh, I mean, we have four departments here. We have, uh, we have a lot of staff now, so it's nice to give them their own office space. Yeah. Okay, so anybody who's just joining, just to be, to be clear, we are giving away one of the beginner open studio flower boxes at the end of this. So you need to make a comment because that's how you enter to win. Um, and of course, we can only ship that, unfortunately, to the lower 48. I wish we could ship it anywhere. Maybe someday we will. But that's what this particular trip is. Um, Cal, we are going to also, uh, we want to give away two copies of your book. And so we're going to do that as well. So we're going to be giving away three things tonight. We're really excited about that. 
can't wait for people to, if they don't have your book, you know, to go ahead and get it because there's so much great stuff in it. And uh, yeah, it's all good. Everyone seems so excited about this flower school, you know, your new space. And I just think, I think, you know, one of the things I got to share this, because I don't think I've ever shared this with you. When, as this year was, you know, had its highs and lows, um, uh, several of our guests, I was really excited at the fact how many of them have either attended a class, taught a class, were a part, you know, you, that organization has touched so many lives of many of the people, you know, over the last, you know, 20, how long has Flower School been there? The Flower School, as I've owned it for 10 years. Okay. Uh, 10 years, but it's about um, 17 years old now. Uh, so in 2023, yes. it'll be 20 year anniversary. It'll be a big wow. milestone. Big milestone. Um, but just the number of people that it's impacted, you know, big and small, you know, whether they took the entire program or just learned pieces of it. Um, I just thought that was really cool. I always loved it. I know recently, the most recent episode that comes to my mind is Paulina um, from Blue Jasmine. Mm -hmm. um, mentioned that she had taken some of the starting classes there. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, she took our program. She took our program. Yeah, so I just think that's, I think that's great. It's a huge testimony to the caliber of people that come out of there, for sure. Yeah. So um, let me see here. I saw the book at Barnes & Noble, and I'm sure it's everywhere. Um, I think it is everywhere, isn't it? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that's the idea, right? Oh, well, I love this flowers, candles, huh? <laughs> What'd you say? I'm sorry. If the book isn't everywhere, the editors are going to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's their problem. They need to get it everywhere. If they don't, that's for sure. Where can you order the book? Well, if you don't win one tonight, you can literally go to any of the bookstores to get it um, online and have it shipped right to your door. Everywhere books are sold. That's right. Everywhere books are sold. Um, okay, great. Wondering, uh, some people are wondering if you are open. They're glad to hear that you are open uh, for business. You said first day, is, you said class is Monday. What classes uh, are starting on Monday? Um, so um, if you're familiar with our programs, our six-week floral design program starts on Monday. And the reason it starts now is because the students have to have four weeks of training before they go and work in real flower shops. So uh, we still, a lot of our flower shops are still going. Uh, Ode de la Rose is taking interns. Uh, Alain Flowers is taking interns. Uh, uh, Belle Fleur, New York is taking interns. A lot of these shops need help on Valentine's. So our programs end right at busy flower times. And so that makes it so the students have a lot of hands-on experience, which we love. Yeah, that's awesome. I know that's one of the key things that your school offers is that connection with real successful businesses that people can just flow into right from your coursework for internships or for yeah. um, these apprenticeships. Well, don't you think, Scott, if you really love this, if you really, really love it, you want actually do it for real. You want to be in the kitchen cooking. You want to be behind the bar making drinks. You want to be in the design studio making art. And you know, there's no, like, that is the, that is the payoff. That is the fun, you know? So uh, we try to provide as many of those as we can. Sure. Uh, okay, I just saw a question pop on uh, from uh, Maggie and Me Farm. Uh, are classes offered online? Yes, there's a whole series of them. Just Everything. Go flower, yeah, go to flowerschoolny.com and, and learn more about that. You can follow them through Instagram to their links. Um, you know, some of the somebody's asking about the instructors. That's a great question. Uh, mm -hmm. Love to hear, you know, who's teaching flower courses and, and yeah. stuff. So um, uh, we will be coming out with a whole new um, list of florists doing some of the most incredible stuff. Um, um, uh, you know, people who have never taught here before are going to be teaching here and people that are highly visible. Uh, one of our new favorite florists is Kelsey. Her company is called East Olivia. She operates both in New York and in uh, California. 
And she is doing some of the most exciting floral design work there is in New York. And everyone has been seeing it and going crazy over it. Um, we also have Victoria on uh, who has been in the flower business now for 10 years. Uh, she is, does, she just defines this new age of very chic and pretty weddings. It's incredible. And then um, also Ingrid Carozzi, who is an alumni of Flower School, uh, who is just a real master designer, some of the most incredible stuff. Plus, there's a couple of new younger people, too, uh, who we're going to be uh, previewing soon, but we don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but just, it's just some incredible people. So uh, once we get set up here, you're going to be seeing a lot more of them. That's awesome. I know Ingrid's actually, we're trying to schedule a time now for her to be on the podcast. So yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. Um, let me see. There's questions I saw people commenting about the candle online. Candle is it is the candle making the class uh, actually a class? Yeah, we have candle making. Uh, okay. It's very very popular uh, out in the West Coast. We haven't been doing it during COVID, but we're going to start it up once we have our our uh, our facility set up. Then we're going to be doing it. Great. And so that's going to be online. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, so many great comments. Uh, there uh, is people, a list of our, they're on our website. You can check it out there. Yes. Um, uh, can you repeat her name? I'm not sure which her it is. So, <laughs> um, that's a great question, I guess. Victoria on and, and, uh, the two companies, um, designs by on is her company. Okay, so um, hands-on courses are the best, but are there online courses for those of us out of state? So yeah. the answer is yes. Um, and that's one thing I wanted to chat about was how you bring these flower boxes like we're giving away and how that sort of, um, um, how you incorporate that as far as hands-on learning because you can get flowers and then learn that way. I think that uh, the book is a really great place to start because you know, nothing happens in a bubble. Uh, the lead time for getting flowers, when, where you get them, what you want to do, then you have to get them, then you have to make sure they die, and then you have to get them hydrated, and then you have to put them in the space you need, and then you have to deliver it. It's like there's a lot, there's a lot of steps. Sure. And then inside this, this linear workflow, there's variations that you can play with. And so we try to go over all of those in the book and we go over them in person and real. A lot of programs, you know, they're, um, they're simulation programs. So it is your shop now. It is time for you to buy the flowers, you to wrap it, and you to send it out. You know, it becomes, you get into the driver's seat. So how do you do it at home? Well, we just do it the best we can, you know. We send you a whole bunch of flowers and then we say, make something pretty. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then, of course, this is a good question. Is it possible to sign up for classes with specific instructors? Uh, and, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, right now, you know, everything's a little a mixed bag, but absolutely. That's how we do it. We, we, what we have is our master class series. And that series is about that designer. And the, 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 the entire series is a concept. And then how each designer approaches with their creative um, uh, approach that vision, how they execute. Sure. Now, I've seen a couple questions and just thoughts. And of course, I want to incorporate that with your move to 28th Street, which to me is like, I don't know, kind of in candy land there um, with all that amazing product at your, just right at, literally at your footstep. Um, you can just walk right outside. Um, about you buying local flowers. How do you when you're using flowers for flower school, how do you source that product? What is your process for that? I mean, because sometimes people are just curious about it. And then I know that it's so hard because where you're located, you can get anything from anywhere. You know, it's really funny, Scott. Um, I'm glad you brought this up. Uh, Wednesday, we are, this coming Wednesday, uh, the 13th of January, we are going to be coming to you live on Instagram uh, during flower market buying tour, the first flower market buying tour that the students get a chance to go on as part of our program. And we want you guys all to come on and, and, and see what it's like. Uh, but you're right. You can get anything, anywhere, anytime, as long as you're willing to pay for it. I mean, <laughs> New York State, 
and things are available, but things are not cheap always. So when it comes to uh, um, getting flowers and you know, being a florist, you can't just go one place. You have to have that. And I think in New York City, as, as a New Yorker, if any of you are from New York, New York, you know that there's a guy for that. I got a guy. I got a guy who will do this. I got a guy who just, well, I got a local guy out in Long Island. All my Long Island stuff. I got a local guy in Jersey, in South Jersey. He's got all that stuff. And I got a local guy who, from upstate New York, and you just, you have a guy. And so, <laughs> market, you're going to see all the guys. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, that's the one thing. I mean, and if if you're on our feed tonight on our live, and you if you don't follow Flower School in New York, you need to go to Instagram and follow them. Number one, number two, if you've never seen the New York flower market, it is definitely worth reaching out to and making sure you follow along for this tour because it is an amazing place. Um, I've been to a lot of places all over the world. There's no place like 28th Street. Um, there are some amazing places, but that is just such a neat place. And I, what I love too is how, people, like you say, it's like you got a guy. Like people are specialized in what they do. A lot of them, um, and where they bring product in from, or what kind of product they sell. And I think it's it's definitely an amazing, amazing place. So thank you for sharing that and inviting us to tag along. Yeah, so we'll uh, send something on Instagram. It's basically uh, starts at nine thirty with our intro. And then at like 10 o'clock, we'll be in one location, we'll go live. And then 11 o'clock, we'll be in another location to go live. So if you're sitting at home like everyone else, just um, just sit tight and watch the feed. And you'll see us pop on and pop off and pop on. And we'll, we'll leave it on our uh, Instagram live so you guys can check it out. That's awesome. That's really great. All right. So everybody has done a great job leaving comments and questions and uh, thoughts, which I appreciate. So this is gonna be the last call. We're gonna be, we'll give you about another minute or two and then we'll do our tabulation. So in order to win this flower box or the books, just leave a comment down below and then um, the, I'll get the golden envelope here soon. So um, there's some great questions. What did you see? I saw a really funny comment that says, can anyone buy flowers in New York City or do you need a guy? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, anyone can buy flowers in New York City, but if you want a good price, you're going to need a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Or if you want to make sure you get what you want, you need a guy. You need um, a guy. Yeah, I love that. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, again, is so this flower box that we're giving away, um, I want to kind of give some people an idea. I know that you told me that you can do two large arrangements with this. Of course, it depends on the person and the style. Or how many small, like, is that a smaller arrangement there? Or is that? Well, it's a great question. I just saw someone like, growing any flowers at the school. You know, I've been in the business for a long time, and I know that you leave flower growing to professionals. Um, when I gr am growing anything uh, that I'm going to use, I always grow foliage. It's always foliage. It's ferns, it's leaves, it's uh, ivy. You grow all your own foliage and then you buy a few beautiful flowers and then you can cut some of your own foliage and put it in. So uh, that's what we do at the school. Uh, and we, we, uh, we show people how to do that and, or to not be afraid of it because it's very easy. Sometimes it's easier than, than actually getting other flowers. But yeah, there's lots of, um, lots of those tips. So, right, and then, and then this question about the book covering does your book talk about uh, freshly picked flowers, processing them, shelf life, things like that? Gemma is asking if we grow herbs. Of course we grow herb. <laughs> <laughs> well, your book covers a lot of things, though, too. I mean, that's one thing. Your book, I mean, I, I felt like your book is for everybody and anybody who loves flowers. But I feel like if you're like, let's say you're a flower shop owner and you've got employees that are newer to the industry, your book is a must almost, I feel like, for covering a lot of just everything, the whole, the whole overview of flourish. Yeah. And I'm glad you mentioned the colors. Gary's events, for example, I think it's really important. He was like foraging, you know, like, uh, you know, foraging is, um, is awesome. 
but one of the things about the book, like I give a lot of practical advice. So for example, if you need foliage, you can just go out to your backyard and cut some foliage. And if you don't have any foliage in your backyard, you go to your neighbor's yard and cut their foliage. And if they don't, if they, they don't want you to do it, then go at night, you know, just go at night. That's all I can say. There's a lot of practical advice like that there. Someone's asking what um, your, your new address is. Great question. Um, you, you can find it on our website. It's uh, 253 West 28th Street. 253 West 28th. Uh, when we're open, um, we're going to have a, a rooftop garden. We're going to have a liquor license. People are going to be able to come and drink wine, all the flowers and everything. It's going to be great. That's awesome. That's really great. Uh, what are your favorite filler flowers or flowers in general that are easy to work with for arrangements? Oh, uh, they're all the same. Like, take in any of our classes, you realize that we, we, we don't just have the perfect flower for the arrangement. We, we make the perfect piece of foliage that fits where it needs to go. Thank you know you. what I mean? It's not about, uh, oh, this is my favorite, so easy. It's about, oh, this needs to be like that, and then it goes perfect, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I love that ninja foraging. That's great. Okay, guys, so we're here at the end, and I wanted to, first of all, thank everybody for joining us tonight, Join, ask me so many great questions. I love seeing the new space. Um, I think that's really great. So I'm going to say, everybody out there in the back, if you don't mind, start calculating our winners. Here we go. I can't wait to give away a copy of this book and the flowers. Mm -hmm. um, this is definitely something you're going to be so excited about. Um, I, there was something I was gonna. I wanted to ask you, and I just it just left me. Um, when um, the rooftop, you're gonna be able to use that for events and things, or are you gonna do that? What What is the plans for the rooftop? Uh, we're 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 gonna be doing weddings, 150 per, 150 person weddings. Oh wow! Yeah. In fact, Space is being uploaded right now to All Seated, so you'll be able to see the layout in All Seated. Uh, if it's not today, it's going to be very, very soon. Uh, and then you can actually start doing tables because we use it for the class as well. We have our event planning class, and you have to do design, 3D uh, designs uh, of, of what your event's going to be like and the colors. And then you also have to do seating charts, and you, you can actually do all of the actual seating charts in the actual school. And then we can even throw events. So... Wow, that's so great. I want to make sure everybody also knows um, we had a great episode with Cal that we aired, gosh, I think it was back in the spring. Oh, gosh, how long ago was that now? I can't even remember. But um, we definitely, if you go to our guest page on our website, you can see his picture and listen to it there or go to any of your apps to hear it. Um, it was really great, too, and I really appreciated uh, Jamie this year coming on and talking about marketing and, and um, uh, social media and things like that. That was really great. And she's one of your instructors yep. uh, that teaches photography too, I think. That's uh, right. Yeah. So, so many great things going on. And yes, it's, it's uh, a lot of congratulations on your new space. And I think that's great. I, I'm so excited for you about that. I know that, I mean, especially th with this year, trying to transition, trying to, you know, relocate. I mean, that's just, I can't even imagine how crazy that was for you. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I think that all florists are pretty hard driving business people and they just figure out how to make it work. You know, everyone just figures it out. And that's all we did, you know. <laughs> well, I know, you make that sound so easy, but we know that it probably wasn't. <laughs> yeah, we're used to working hard too, that's for sure. That is for sure. So if you've already got a copy of, I'm curious if anybody out there already has a copy of your book and what they think of it, just in case, because I think that's sometimes fun. Oh, here we go. All right, we have the blue envelope this time. Let's see what we have here. All right. Okay, so the first winner of the, we're doing, we're gonna do the box last. So the first book, is going to go to the Riley Birds. So if you're on there, the, the, yes, the Riley Birds. 
That's the Instagram handle. You just won a copy of Cal's new book. Wow. Then, all right. Yeah. Then the next one, the next winner is Posey Fields. And Posey's asked a lot of great questions on here tonight. And so, um, yeah, she's won a copy of your book, too. That's really exciting. And I guess um, maybe now, oh, yes, we have, okay, good. You're still on here. That's awesome. Um, somebody's right. commenting on your great book. That's really great. And then, so Posey Fields, you just want a copy. There she is, a copy of the book. And last but not least, I feel like we need a drum roll or something here for this incredible box of flowers. There you go. Okay, so the incredible box of flowers goes to White Brick Flora. And so White Brick Flora just won a box of flowers. Wow, oh, all right. So that's awesome. For yourself, come on down. Come on. That's down. right. <laughs> So we're going to have fun doing that. So I'll reach out to everybody who won and just make sure we get your information so we can send this stuff to you. Um, Cal, thank you so much for joining us and doing this and um, get doing the tour. That was really great. Um, it's so much fun. Yes, congratulations to all the winners. Thanks, everybody. Um, this has been great. So yeah, forget, come see us on Wednesday. We're going to have a whole market tour. We're going to be talking to Cal, Crab, Gary, age a lot of the wholesalers down there you're going to hear what they have to say about the state of uh flowers in new york is new york open is it not open you're about to find out yeah and you're going to get to meet cal's guys you're yeah, my guys <laughs> <laughs> i love that all right everybody thank you so much appreciate it and uh, we'll probably see a lot of y'all next wednesday so take care <laughs>